We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Already? Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. Somehow, I don't think things are gonna pan out so nicely. Good reminder though, Miller was really mad at me for going to the surface before, but now he's so excited. Whoa, it's warm! Brill car, what's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abandoned, but the truck is okay. Over. Roger that. Don't go too fast, and watch out oh. for radiation. Over. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years. My whole life. And it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look. Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Me neither. Shh. Don't say that. No good, Carol. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on! Passengers, get inside and button up tight! Yes, of course. Come on, Nastya. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for Artyom and me. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. Oh, they're a little bit ahead of us. Mission, guys. <laughs> Take the Aurora back to the safe zone and sit tight there. We know that right now. Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. Damn, they've been pounding this place. Worse than Moscow. Yeah, looks like it. The vegetation's all dead because of the radiation. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. Lucky. Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. <laughs> this is so different. Ooh! A tank! Good. Miller, over and out. This is so different from anything we've ever seen in the metro world. It's hot! Look at all those cars! Artyom was right! People were coming here from all over the country! Yes, they were! Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now! So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. Let's hold on, okay? They should have noticed us coming from a mile away. Oh, no, 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 no. This, this is a bad place. Now, we shouldn't have come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't Danger. Oh, see? Nobody home. How about we go back, huh? Поехали. Look! 
어? 하이. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. See, we expected. Oh, I wouldn't be happy so fast. Oh, be quiet, Miller. He's completely blinded by his excitement. Something is very wrong here. Air's clean. We can take the masks off. This place though looks so abandoned. What are the maintenance people thinking, I wonder? Yeah, this place could use some cleaning at the very least. Sam, idiot. You know what? No need for us all to crowd the government. So you two better stay with Chris. Yes, sir, sir, yes, sir. Even the welcome sign is so faded. I don't got a good feeling about this. We're back with technology though. Freaking elevator. So quiet. Spooky. <laughs> Did you at least prepare a speech? Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an all nighter. <laughs> don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? You're welcome. Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. I feel like we're all gonna be taken hostage any minute now. Here goes nothing. Decontamination? No? No decontamination. Oh, we're so dead. There are people there. Well, this is anticlimactic. Take two. Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Oh, God. Oh. No! Oh, Miller. What did you lead us into? Oh, God. This is a glorified bandit camp. As far as I can tell. Oh, there's somebody strung up upside down. What the... Where am I? Where are the others? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. 
cleaner. What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Cannibals. Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down. We'll get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them! Watch your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. <laughs> uh, you fucker! <laughs> let me... let me go! Oh my god! Not one will escape! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could oh. choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here, I'll rip you all apart. God damn it, Every Miller! Last one of you should have done that before the war. But I'll get you mad. Burn this town to ashes. Now we'll be full again. Good. These people sound like beasts. There is no government. Artyom. Remains here. Colonel, sir, I think that's enough. Thank you, son. But it is not. We have to get them. But first, we must find Anna. I'm sorry, I went too far with that elevator. Oh Do my god! Idiot. Start the main elevator off! Ready. <laughs> elevator on the Sam. move! Oh. Yes, sir! We can hold up we can't kill these people, right? This is fine. This is fine. These people have been living like this for so long. They don't even... They act very savage. And you know, the whole eating people thing. I did notice earlier that Anna had a cough, but I didn't think that was relevant to anything. Try to stay on one side. I'm like walking in front of everyone's sights. Idiot! Sometime today! Here? Oh, there's another one here! Oh god. We thought the cult was bad, but at least they don't eat people. I kind of want to save my bullets. Great job. 
Lord. Oh. Just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same exactly. Mmm. True. And quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. No wonder I recognize this Still, lift. The complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. You're pretty light on armor. Let's go! Meet! 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 Your floor, Artyom! Okay, see you guys later. Gotta make sure we're okay. Oh, but I can't make any... I can't make ammo here. Yeah. I don't think there's any need to stealth. It's not appropriate here. Unless if we want to be quiet for the sake of being quiet, you know? Diary, page one. I just lucked out. Missing the construction milestone was the best thing ever after all. To think I was so upset about that stupid bonus. What does a pile of ash need bonus for? Now we have it made. The government didn't arrive after all. So all the complex is ours, with all of its stores. The bunker was supposed to save a whole town, and there's just a couple of thousands of us. The only problem is the babe department, but we'll just wait until the radiation's dissipated and calmly walk down the mountain. Or rather, crawl up from under it. Some fucking luck. The government didn't arrive for a reason after all. The thing is, somebody did a better number on food reserve budget than on the construction one. We did manage to build the thing, even if late, but the stores are empty. Sure thing. All quartermasters are crooks, and they had it coming. But the bastards were telling the truth after all. The shelves are empty. Well, there are some seeds and pasta, but that shit won't last us even a year. And that's the story of how they turn into cannibals. The government didn't arrive because there is no government. What was that bullcrap Miller said about getting official communication regarding this? How did he know about the Ark? Before we turn on the radio. Eh? What? Is there another way out for me out of here? They shut the place down, and I can't... Um... Ah! They turn off the electricity, so I couldn't get to them. Okay, if that guy's gonna be behind the thing... I don't care about him. Oh! Oh, come on, give me some ammo here. Oh... My lord. Oh my god. It's dead people everywhere. I see dead people. Hopefully, I'm not gonna join them. This would be a good time for the shotgun, but I think most of them are a little bit too far away, and I don't want to run up to them. Jeez. Gotta find Anna. What does that say? I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. You. Um. Uh 
Anna's cough. Is it possible that she contracted something in the Volga? Or maybe she's just sick? Ew. I imagine they're actually quite thorough in their testing because they don't want to eat bad meat. You're next. What the hell is that guy doing? Can't see the other guys. Oh god. Um, I can't even reload. I don't think I have that many bullets left. How many bullets do I have? Oh, I do have a little bit. God. Ah. Uh, what are we gonna do after this? Think about that later on, okay? We gotta make it out of this engagement first. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, it's their freezer! Hey, you have a new mod. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Oh, okay. It's a little bit quieter here. Because there's no electricity, that's why. Oh god, what now? There's some fire there. Yeah, I can't get past. Do we want to go this way? I don't- wait. Because there's a way behind us too. Nope. What about this side? There's several thousands of the people here, the diary said. Everyone just sits still. The stomach doesn't even bother me anymore. Good thing I didn't listen to the fools about drinking a lot. We'll last at least a week more. Joints swollen, hearts right. I don't think I can write about this, but I must. They made soup a week ago. Five idiots in the barrack, keeled over at once. They gobbled it up and burst their gut. I couldn't touch it for a day. Then I tasted a bit at night and hurled immediately. But in the morning, it tasted like chicken. At least I can write again. Thought I was a goner, for sure. <laughs> Struggling with the beginnings of cannibalism? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, uh, uh, I don't know. If I'm really, really hungry, would I let myself die, or would I eat the random people that come in here? I, I don't have an answer. <laughs> this is another bunker. The Yamantau bunker. Same format as D6. Why did you shoot them? What the fuck? But there was meat. Meat, you see? These people have gone insane. And we can't get to the other one. 
people have gone mad. Surprise! But they don't have guns. Or very many guns. A lot of these guys are just coming at us with shovels. That's a good thing for me. If I have a distance weapon. Why did you have to look up? I could have let you live. No, that's probably a lie. I wouldn't have let you live. You want to eat my wife. How how do I let you live after that? Shh, God! Oh, Freaking hell. Meat, meat has arrived. But now I know it. Food, food is here. Meat. Ah! Here, tasty. <laughs> this is exponentially scarier when you're in a dark room with no light. Oh god, that guy had his own fridge. Yeah, this layout looks a little bit familiar because we've been to D6 and... I don't like it. I don't like it. Hmm? God! They just have that on display. Hey, we have the same one. <laughs> ah! Yeah, that's right. I was wondering from the calendar earlier. It said 1980, but that's just the... Um, this is 86. But the actual year it is right now is presumably like 20... 35 or something. You all used to be normal people. Gotta be careful about the guys with the guns. But the other people, we can usually get them before they come at us. We picked a fight with the wrong people. We're militarily trained. These guys are just bandits. Cannibalistic bandits that have been running a sham operation of pretending to be the government to lure people here. So on the radio, they just kept saying, Oh yeah, we're the government, come over here, come over here. Were y'all seeing this? I don't know where they were. So many of your own. Are dead. It's this way. Oh, you know what? I gotta. I gotta make med kits later on. Hold on for a sec.
It's not exactly safe right now. Just in case, was there anything back here? A little restroom. Diary page three. Fucking let them in! Fuck the radiation! It's been over a year! They're outsiders. Don't even need a share. Let them draw lots or whatever. The point is, we'll have food for months now. Hurt. All over. Fever. Thoughts tingling. Doc said shit about some privins or something. The outsiders had them. The fucks. Shoulda roasted them fucks better. Too late now. Fuck. Mmm, meat. Prions? Prion disease? You don't eat people because it's really easy to get contaminated. Especially people's brains. Maybe that's why they were storing them in jars, because they realized. I'm not sure on the medical specifics, but if you eat people's brains, you can get all sorts of degenerative fatal diseases like Kuru, which was common in parts where there are cannibalistic tribes. Pretty good today with the shooting, huh? Okay, we're okay. I need bullets. That guy seemed a bit more decked out. Maybe these are actual fighters or something. Okay. Yeah, some of them... Uh, I don't know, some of them have gone mad from eating people. Some of them... They're clearly still sane enough to be playing the whole Hey, we're the government, come over here so we can eat you. So they're not all insane. Maybe the ones who are careful about not eating contaminated meat. That's why they're insistent on Anna's cough. We all okay so far? Where y'all? Ooh, that guy! Hold on... Hold on... Oh! Oh, I didn't take a medkit because I was banking on not having to. <laughs> that guy was pretty buff. Why don't we just stay here? Deal with him. Still not dead? Oh my god. Oh! His legs are not armored! I think that's my main thing here. Holy crap! I never use my Molotovs anyway. <gasps> my god, do I not have any more medkits? No, I thought I couldn't take any earlier. Must have been because I was shooting. Because I have to have the animation, right? Of popping the medkit. Let me confirm though. That guy... Whoa, what's this gun? 
Oh, I don't want to take the whole thing, though. But this is a new gun. Hmm. Why don't we try trading away the shotgun for it, then? We can always get another one back at the train. We'll just see how this one goes for now. It's like a mini gun. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a huge place. How many people live here? Perfect gun for the occasion. Oh, this feels really sweet because we've been trying to stealth a lot of the times. And now we're getting to just rail on people. Yeah. Ah! Oh! Ah! They're making sure not to eat the head. Officer's diary. It's been a month already since we became rats in a hole here. And what do we have to show for that? We don't even know if anyone's still alive out there. All the antennas were destroyed, and the radiation levels are so high there's no way to fix them. Though, even if the antennas were okay, would anyone have any reason to contact us? The bigwigs never arrived after all. Looks like the construction workers are right though. We'd better get ourselves comfortable here, as we're in for a long run. Those idiots with that council of theirs. I would forgive the workers if they came up with bullshit like that. But why would the officers want to play those games? Just to be able to push the blame onto the government decree? When they cut the rations again? How is that supposed to help? If there simply are no food reserves no matter what? Lunacy. The doctor is right. We, the radio technicians, are here for a reason. We will not just save our comrades. We will also help thousands of survivors outside. The only thing we need to do is fix the antennas, let the real government know we're alive. They will send us food shipments, and then the ARC project will provide a shelter from radiation for all survivors. And what could be more important now? Okay, this person is not insane. Oh, they really wanted to help, but the government... There was no government to begin with! Like, there's just... The art project seems like it was really set up in hopes of helping everybody, but there it's just Ah Oh my god, how many people have they eaten here? Where are your guns? You don't have guns? Thank you. I used up all of my stuff earlier. Pretty much all my grenades, but still got a few Molotovs. Oh no! Is this a trap? Look around first. <laughs> Artyom! I knew! Shh, shh, shh. Behind you! God! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just freeze! Yes, yes! The, Let just, him just go. Don't kill me! Now. Uh, remember what I told you! There was an ex- Enough, <laughs> Are you alright, Artyom? Thank God. I feel like we could have saved them. Let's report to the colonel. Or getting information and all that. Dad, it's me. Ah, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Oh, thank God. Well done, Artyom. Where do they go now? There's an elevator straight down the corridor. It goes right to the command center. Let's go. Not too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit. Do you want to grab a gun, Anna? I... You're not wearing any armor. They stripped it off all of us. Okay. God. 
God. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that's Salantius with his damn fanatics. Mmm, no kidding. Officer's Diary 2. Nothing can be done. They have five days at most. At least Doc says he can give them something for the pain. Who could have known? They'd go up there to fix the antennas. Boys, should have told me. Should have at least worn the suits. It's up! I just sent the first message! Made it! The boys are still alive! Alyosha even smiled when I told him. At least, now they'll know they didn't die in vain. Not our Alyosha, right? I'm guessing it's a common Russian name. So, I get the radio online, and they remove me immediately. I can't even get any news. They say it's all secret. Put guards at the door, too, the bastards. And they struck me from the special rations distribution list. Way to reward honest effort. This is terrible. How did the others survive all this time? It's only been two weeks, and already I can't think of anything but food. The others had been getting the same ration for months. Two more weeks. The legs are getting swollen. The workers told me I drink too much. I have no energy to move. Even writing feels like hard work now. Apathy. At least, the hunger's a bit blunted now. They're here! They heard us and came! Yes, they're just refugees, but they're here! Soon we'll get the supplies! It's not too late yet! Everything will be fine now! Of course, the refugees are quarantined for now, but soon I'll be able to ask them about everything. I heard their quarantine will last longer than we, though. Oh, then we thought. They brought some bug with them. They also brought rations, though. We've been given meat broth for now. We couldn't stomach anything heavier anyways. What a great feeling, though. Whole body feels warm. And the taste, unforgettable. Unforgettable, all right. So the the cannibals came here. These were the officers in the bunker to begin with. I don't get this. A second group of refugees. They also brought supplies, but it's just meat. No grains or anything. And they're all quarantined too. While the last group has been there for over a month now. We haven't been told a thing about the situation in the country or the government. Why? I must have a frank conversation with Doc. He'll oblige for the old friendship's sake. Originally, the ARC project really was meant to help out everybody. But the cannibals came here and took it over. And they probably ate everybody here too. Oh my god. But no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. We can look in the bunker for supplies, but I have a feeling it's just gonna be meat. And we have food, right? Food is not a problem for us. We have meat back in the train. Wow. Bastard! Thank God, Anna. I wouldn't ever forgive myself. I'm all right. Who could have known? Who knew these these creatures here kept eating people for twenty years? Could you imagine that? I'm sorry. I got carried <coughs> away like a greenhorn recruit. The minister was going to see me. Conceit may be complacent. I even saluted those ghouls. Some fucking ark. These monsters had it made me, like the watchers in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. But these... All right, but what do we do I'll now? Be damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs... All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <coughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? No. We have to make the decision <laughs> together. Did 
you get everything you could in. We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on. Okay, all done. <laughs> oh. Me. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't? You're right, of course. But do you intend to live forever? <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time with what is allotted to me with that guy over there. I've grown attached to him. <laughs> That I understand. Can we please save the love talk for later? <sighs> I don't know. What? What's Miller? Oh my god. What's he gonna think now? Is he gonna go back to being angry at me for wanting to go to the surface? Unbelievable. Hideous, inconceivable monsters. So this is why nobody's been released from their quarantine. And the fucker has the gall to offer me, an officer, to join the ranks again. So, first they throw me out, and now they want me back. And they're not afraid, not in the slightest. This means everything's over up there. I don't even need to check the radio. There is no government, no law, and no country. Still, does that give them the right to butcher and eat people? It didn't take much for them to become ghouls. Well, just you wait. I'll teach you fear again. I still have my gun, luckily. Just you wait. I'll show you how the solution to the supplies problem, you hellspawn. Didn't seem like they were bandits. Like, some of them were legitimately Russian officers. The guys wearing the colonel suits. Oh my god. Or maybe they just picked up the suits from this place. I'm not sure. This gun has a overheating thing. Oh, that's freaking... Wait. It's not very accurate at a long distance. Is it overheated? I can't shoot. I won't die. Oh! Get in, everybody. Sam, get out, get in. This one finish the belt so enough to carry it back. I never use these anyway. <sighs> well, that was a day. Looks like this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. How demotivating.